we have done everything that we need to do there. So let's go ahead and head over to our next destination, which is more village. I think I actually packed. Yeah, there we go. We could have gone here a lot earlier, to be honest with you, but I wanted to wait until after we have gotten all the sealed weapons because, well, to be honest, the sealed weapons kind of suck compared to this weapon that we're going to get. So I didn't want to ruin what seems to be a level of grandiosity to the whole thing. What we need to do is head in through this secret passage. Uh, I hate this secret passage. I never seem to be able to get it done. Hey, I did it pretty well there. Here is the man we are looking for. Well, getting this far makes you either brave or just lucky. You decide. If you think you're brave, take the chest on the left. If you're a coward, take the one on the right. Well, which is it going to be? And we have two options here. On the left, we have the Brave Blade. Uh, if you have not run at all from any battle, this is the one that you want. If you have been running from battles, you want the one on the right. That would be the Chicken Knife. Brave Blade gives you plus 5 attack. Chicken Knife gives you plus 5 speed. The battle power of the Brave Blade is 150. The Chicken Knife is 127. If you've run uh, 250 times. If you haven't run at all, Brave Blade is a lot better. If you start running from battles, though, it's not going to be as good. Let's grab ourselves the Brave Blade. I have earned it. And he turns into a chicken skeleton, apparently. Brave Blade. Best weapon in this version of the game. They, they did make... Uh, weapons in the advanced version which are better but in this version of the game I can't think of anything better than this brave blade battle power up by 40 from the Excalibur that's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous 150 battle power ain't got nothing that's how that's how brave I am let's go ahead and put that on I shall be using that quite extensively so my, it's actually my first time getting the uh, the Brave Blade. Usually I get the Chicken Knife. Right, how do I get out of here? There we go. That is kind of a confusing layout. Okay, so we are done here in Moor Village as well. G having obtained what I consider the best weapon in the game. I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me on that. Point out something, but to me, that is, that is where it's at. Now we have... One more place to go. Hold on while I do remember how to get there from here. Alright, we need to head west from here and a little bit north, which throws me to all kinds of hell. Did not expect that was where we needed to go. Okay, that's close enough. We need to head to Lugor Border Town. And here we need to head back into the armor shop. Remember, this was the, the shop with the little girl in the middle that would tell you what side of the store you were on. We need to talk to her by heading through this secret passage. And just for talking to her, we get a fanfare. You're the ones fighting Exteth, aren't you? This is my prized possession, but here. And then they don't even... Because they already did the fanfare, they don't even tell you what it was. You get a ribbon for that. Another ribbon. Those are very, very important. It will protect you against many, many status effects. Now. Hold on. We, we still have more things to do. But hold on. Alright, what we are planning to do today is a little bit complicated. So, I will try to keep it as simple as possible. But may get lost once or twice along the way. What we need to do first is head back to Gil Shrine and get our chocobo back. Come here, Boko. We got some work to do. Now, if you remember, we were told that we need to go around the world on a yellow chocobo. This is the only yellow chocobo I know of. So let's get him down to Mirage Village, which is where we were told we need to go around the world and see what we can do there. Surely it will be the easiest thing ever. And I won't get lost, not even once. Uh, 
I, I struggled with this the first time that I tried it. Uh, but this is pretty much the path. There we go. Pretty straightforward from here how to get to Mirage Village. Uh, you do want to be on the yellow chocobo for this, otherwise you'll get into fights. But with this, you won't. Saves you a lot of time, a lot of hassle. Boko is awesome like that. Probably why Bart's didn't level up until we started this journey. There is Mirage Village. Let's go talk to the guy just to make sure that we have activated this quest. This side quest, I should say. We need to go in here. And we need to go down here to talk to him. Give you something real good, but not for free. Let's see. First, you gotta go around the world on a yellow chocobo. How's that? That sounds deceivingly simple. Unlike Final Fantasy III, Final Fantasy V does not have a giant lap around the map for you to ride your chocobo. I mean, they have this here down at the bottom. But outside of that, this this map is a little bit complicated. So we're going to try to get this done. Uh, we're going to start by heading west. I think you have to head west, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, we're going to head up here. This is going to be the easiest way that I know how to do it. Um, we need to stay, you know, as far west as we can, past the castle there, past the small little town where the werewolves were hanging out, north past that, around the X zone here, and up through here, and I believe we want to stay west here. We want to stay as far west as we can for as long as we can. It looks like we're going to have to stop there. And here, nothing nothing further up there. So now we're going to have to start heading south again, but we are going around the world, so eventually we will go all directions. There's our airship. That does not mean that we know our way forward just yet. What we need to do is head north of Tool. That is Tool there. I swear there was one that way. We still need to stay as far north as we can. There is more of the world for us to explore on our chocobo of justice. Actually, is it this way? It is this way. And here we have a whole other portion of the map that we would have missed before. Now I think we want to just head north here and we want to head through here because there is something waiting for us here. Here. Where is it? Where? There it is. And we have found the magic lamp that the dwarves told us of, actually. Back on the chocobo, though. Now we can head back to Mirage Village the way that we were going before. I know this is kind of a complicated journey, isn't it? I believe we have to go, yeah, through here. Through here. And back down to Mirage Village. And hopefully that is the whole world completed around the world on a yellow chocobo. There's the sealed castle. Actually, I think we don't want to go that way. We don't want to go past the sealed castle for this one. We want to head, yeah, down here. And hopefully that does still count as a full round the world completed. But I'm, you know, not sure. <laughs> uh, get around this way. And down, and it should be straightforward from here. There we go, back on the, this path. And there we go. Definitely more complicated than Final Fantasy III, where, once again, it was just like a giant lap around the world. There were no twists or turns. You just had to go around it. And I think you had to do it like three times or something like that. But this one's a little bit more complicated, so hopefully it is completed properly. Let's see if this guy has anything for us now. What do you have to say about that? How was that? 
Jeez, you mean you really went round the world? What are you, nuts? Oh well, promise is a promise. Here. And we get the Mirage Vest. And a delayed fanfare. Mirage Vest, one of the better items in the game. Let's go ahead and see if anybody can equip that. Mirage Vest! Magic defense is up. Regular defense is down, though. Um, I bet you... Yeah, it's up for most everybody except for my heavy armor wearers. So there are definitely a lot of people that do benefit from it. So you're gonna wear it. And there we go. That is another side quest done, but we did pick up the magic lamp. What are we gonna be doing with that? <laughs> Hold on while I try to get back to my airship. And I have made it back to my airship. Now I am told that once you get the magic lamp, you can just come back here uh, to the airship and you can actually fly back to Mirage Village and it'll still count as you going around the world since you had to get to Mirage Village from the airship on Boko. However, I've experienced that once where it didn't work, so I wasn't really willing to try that again. Speaking of the magic lamp, though, let's take a look at it. It is an item that you can, well, you do use in battle. Um, and it works kind of strangely, to say the least. Where is it? Did I not sort? There it is. There it is. Uh, it can summon in battle. Now, that is kind of deceiving. Uh, the first time that you use it, it will use Bahamut. It will summon Bahamut. The second time will be Leviathan. third time will be Odin. Odin will use Zantetsugin. Not Gungnir. Always Zantetsugin. Then after that, it's going to be uh, Sildra, followed by Carbuncle, followed by Shout, followed by Gollum, then Titan, then Ifrit, then Rama, then Shiva, then Remora, then Sylph, and then Chocobo forever. It will always be Chocobo after that, unless you recharge it at the last shrine that we were in, close to that boss battle that we had. Once you recharge it, then it'll start the list over again. Uh, the, uh, the boss battle with Phobos, Triton, and Nier, whatever. You know the one, the one we just did with the three guys, that one. That's where it can be recharged. That is, well, that's kind of something that I don't use very often, the, the magic lamp. But this is the first time that the magic lamp does appear in Final Fantasy games. And that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my completely unsealed squad of... Bart's Reign of Krill and Ferris. When we come back, more side quests! Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.